everyone, it's me, Sydney. So today I'm going to be doing my video on how I stay motivated on track, things that motivate me. Hopefully you guys can take something from this and just get the motivation that you need. Like right before I started my journey, I would watch videos to motivate myself. Definitely check the description box for my video because I've gotten a lot of feedback from and a lot of you guys say is motivational. If you guys haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. Maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration, some motivation. You guys will learn a little bit more about me. that I do to motivate myself, what I do to motivate myself to start my journey, um, to keep going, reach my goals, and now what I do. When I first started my journey, I would actually watch motivational videos on how to lose weight. So that would be like I'd search on YouTube how I lost 50 pounds and there would be someone talking about their journey, how they lost the 50 pounds, and that motivated me like crazy because in the beginning I didn't know where to start I didn't know what to do but I knew I wanted to so getting to see someone who had accomplished it really helped me it motivated me it made me realize that I could do it and that was one of the biggest things so in the beginning I would watch Amy Nicola XO she has a couple videos out now about how she lost like 60 pounds 88 pounds what she ate to lose that like she really helped me out in the beginning I would watch her while I was doing cardio and it kept me going. So that was in the beginning. I also picked a quote that I really resonated with and that quote used to be, do it for the holy shit you got hot because in the beginning I was doing it for my looks because I didn't like the way I looked but then eventually it turned into wanting to better myself and be even healthier and now I really don't, like I care about what I look like but I really focus on what I can do to make myself feel good because that's what matters personally to me. Um, obviously want to look good, but you know, they go hand in hand. If you feel good, you're going to look better, you know? The moment that I started my journey, I created uh, short-term and long-term goals. So my short-term goals were my weekly goals and my monthly goals. My long-term were my yearly goals and my past that kind of type goals in my months, like six months to a year and past that were the long-term ones. For my short-term goals, I would create monthly and weekly goals and those would really keep me going when I did not have motivation. I would repeat these goals as well. This is what kept me motivated and kept me on track. Looking at my, my weekly goal and in the morning and before bed. So when I'd go to bed and when I'd wake up and be in bed still, I would look at my phone, read my goals and remind myself what I'm working towards because that'll give you motivation within itself. The fact that you have goals you want to accomplish them and you make ones that are realistic that you can hit it'll keep you motivated because once you start crushing those goals make them small because the moment that you actually achieve them you're gonna crave and want to do better you're gonna to want to do more you need a purpose in order to keep going and the moment you start giving yourself a purpose that's when you start realizing that it's important to you so for me um, I also so I had these two jars this one says pounds lost so far this one says pounds to lose. They're not updated just because this is what I did in the beginning and now I'm on a very different track of what I want to accomplish. So they're a little bit, you know, outdated for me, but they really work when you start out. But now what I do is I actually have an inspirational board. It is on the side of my wall next to my cork board that has like random stuff on it. I have an entire inspirational board that has, I can like insert a picture right here. It has my before, my during, my goal physique because my goal is to be a figure competitor in like two years three years you know like I my goal is to just work towards that and then I actually have my goals written down things that I want to purchase for myself and that sounds weird but they're all fitness related things like if there's a protein powder that I want that's expensive I actually really want this polar watch and I have yet to buy it because it is $500 and that is very expensive especially because I am still a teenager and <laughs> I do not have a job so the things that I do buy I, I have to save a while to buy so that's kind of one of the big things that I want the other thing is buying yourself fitness clothing which sounds really weird because fitness clothing gets smelly and gross but you can find affordable fitness clothing that's really cute not at all a bad like quality, they fit nice. Um, I found the Dan Skin brand works the best for me. Those are the only workout bottoms that I will wear. I really fell in love with their 
tank tops and their t-shirts just because of the fact that they're very comfortable and they have cute sayings on them. So if you guys are curious, Walmart is where I get them. And they're affordable, they last a long time, they're attractive. I like to buy a lot of proteins, um, protein bars, workout clothing, tennis shoes are a little more expensive so I really don't buy a lot of those. That's basically like what I do for f buying things because obviously you don't want to be spending a ton of money but those are little things that you can buy, you kind of want and need. So something else that really helped me was adding fitness people on Snapchat and I'm a Snapchat addict. If you guys can see, this is my newer Snapchat. I used to have a different one and it legitimately is already at 200,000. And that's just because I talk to you guys a lot. And if you guys are curious, this is my Snapchat. One of the things that has really helped me recently is adding physique models, adding my Instagram fitness friends, adding you guys on Snapchat because that's a huge motivation for me. Watching stories, seeing what you guys Snapchat me motivates the hell out of me. And honestly, like that's something that on my daily life I use Snapchat. So it's really simple, it doesn't take a lot of time. And I'm able to see what people do on their daily lives that puts them towards their goals. And talking to you guys motivates me insanely. The DMs I get on Snapchat and on Instagram and the emails that I get are insane. Like I honestly don't use email often but when I see that there's one from you guys I take the time to really read it and reflect because I want to be able to help you so if you guys want to add someone who really motivates me on snapchat definitely feel free to add her she has amazing content her snapchat stories are filled with knowledge they always have a purpose her content is honestly so amazing it gives me a lot of insight and things to think about if you guys could like tell her that I sent you that'd be amazing she's had a huge impact on me I've also really gotten into watching fitness youtubers I am not talking about beauty gurus that think they know a lot about fitness I like to watch the people who are actually in it and know what they're talking about these are the people that are actual athletes these are people who are physique competitors these are people like Emily Hayden who just got her pro card, which is freaking amazing. I'm so proud of her. Um, I'm talking about Amanda Bucci. I'm talking about Buff Bunny. She has such a great personality. There's also Jen How Howard, Howard. All of those girls work their ass off to get where they are. They're all in different journeys. They're not, they don't all come from a weight loss thing. They, some of them come from being skinny to muscular. So there's a very like, there's a wide range that I like to watch. Take your excuses out of your life because the moment that you stop having excuses, you will start seeing the goals that you have and being able to reach them. For me personally, right now I have a torn labrum, I have you know, my pec and my rotator cuff stuff, I have all of that stuff going on right now and I'm still killing my workout. The moment that you take away your excuses, you know, I'm careful with my shoulder, I do what my surgeon says, I do what my physical therapist says, but the thing is, I don't let it limit what I know I can do. The moment that you take can't and impossible and all your excuses out of your life, you were able to achieve so many things that you didn't think you could achieve. How do you think people reach their goals? Do you think that they reach their goals by sitting on their butt and saying that they can't do something? They get off their butt, go do something that is gonna put them towards their goals, and then they feel accomplished. They reach those goals eventually. And what I want you guys to know is the moment that you throw your excuses out the window and you say, I can do it. It doesn't matter that this is in my life. I can still do it. That's the moment that you're going to achieve your goals. The moment that I stopped using my thyroidism as a problem or as an excuse on why I can't lose weight or anything like that, stopped blaming other people for my weight gain was the moment that I started seeing results. Even when you think that you can't push a little harder, it's all mind over matter, baby. You can do anything you set your mind to. When you tell yourself that you can, when you wake up in the morning and you say it's gonna be an amazing day, you're gonna crush your goals, guess what, you will. I know that motivation can be low at times and sometimes you do need a little bit of a shove to, just to get you to jump off the cliff and dive in, you know? The thing is, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere and I'm gonna keep crushing my goals and you guys are gonna start crushing yours. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Any video requests that you guys have, leave them down below. Stay motivated, stay beautiful, stay strong. Love you.